Well, here's the Wambo on January 13th, 2021. Trying to get this thing wrapped up. About another week, I'm thinking, because I got all the all the uh, electrical done now, or well, at least wired in the frame. And uh, starting to get the cabinets reset, make them all permanent. We still have to get the bed across the back there. And then I still have to seal up this side yet. But lots of electrical. They got a cool electrical system in it to tap into. Plus, I'm adding a whole second one. Looks like a bomb went off still. I'm not the most neatest person when I work, so I have everything in here. But this is what it is. And uh, I'm kind of happy. I The lights that were on the ceiling have highs and lows and everything else. So what I did is I just... I put new lights in. Let's see if I can. Okay, that shuts those off. Then we can turn some night lights on. And then if we want another night light, we can go with that one. And then we can do the same on the other side. Then we got door lights. So all the all their electrical's working, which is all kind of cool. Let's see, we got a squad light. Nope, yeah, there it is right there. There's squad light, squad night light. So they all come on separately. So I can, as I need lights, I just have to flip them on and figure out what I want to do. So, hey, it's another night working on the Wambo. Here we are down in my dungeon. It's in Waterville. My building was built in about 1900. Anyway, this is the basement. This is where I'll do all my extra activities. Here's the face frame that's going to go in the ambulance. Cabinet bottom. And then we have ceiling panels and wall panels. And we have countertops. I'm going to detail that out a little bit better. But And then here's the... Uh, cabinets going over the bunk in the bed and not only are we doing that down here we're also digging through stereo stuff trying to figure out what we're going to be adding so we can make this thing sound good going down the road or camped out wherever we may be wambulance that's what we are well it's january 10th 2021 lots of political bullshit going on anyway it's a snowy night I worked on Wambo today I took it all back apart took all the panelings back down the cabinets out and now I'm running the electrical system so we're working at getting that installed but this is just an interesting little build my first one but ambulances are great hell of a structure man really a good structure to work with i'm keeping some and getting rid of others if you've seen the previous videos and so right now we're just doing the lighting here and getting stereo wires run behind the wall because we're going to have our stereo up there and again it's just it looks like a bomb went off but just stay tuned we'll be on the road Okay, here's just everything in very, very rough form. Um, get my finger out of the way here. This is the back. And this is the back on the other side. And I think I'm going to put the same old cabinet that was in the ambulance back. Okay, up. here's the gist of what's going to kind of go on. Everything is held up. Joe pokes and poked in and held, it just... Nothing's permanent, but it's the fit part right now. 
Got to cut that shelf down. Then, of course, the bed's going to frame in there once I get everything else done. And I'm reusing and allocating this cabinet there. I had to build a new one for underneath of it. This guy's going to cut off here. and Then it'll become the bed area in that area. Just about right in here is, going to, is where the bed's going to come to. There's the furnace. I reused that cabinet up there. May as well use their cabinets. And up here's where, there's where the stereo's gonna go in. And the TV's gonna be right in there. So I think I've pretty much utilized everything that I can utilize. Um, and then that has a padded thing that's gonna go around it and shut it all off. Got my new window. I don't have a trim for it, so I'm gonna have to suffer something along there. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do, but. And then there will be a cover that goes over this electrical wiring that used to be in here too. They just, they didn't hide it up inside, but that's just the way it is. Anyway, it's uh, the Wambulance build. 2021. Well, the new window went in, no big deal. Kinda like it, looks good. And then to hold it in, they didn't, I didn't get a, doesn't have a regular mounting ring, but for now, it's being held in by this wood here. And I uh, used a, roofing compound called 4500 to mount the window in so it won't need any screws or anything i think it went rather well now we can start doing something on the inside Well, on this breezy day in December here in Waterville, Washington, I'm working on the Wambo here. Um, yesterday, I been dying to do this. I put a light bar on and I took it out for a test drive last night. And it's like, wow, what a, what a light that is. And then it puts something up there besides emergency lights. Now, at one point I put covers over the places where my red emergency lights were and today we're gonna stick up we got some uh, six and a half inch amber ones so we'll be putting those across the top and we're gonna see how that works for us well today my project is putting in a window that opens and it's a little bit bigger, but the frame on the inside will accept that without having to cut in to any of the uh, structural members. So it's going to be a little bit bigger. It's just going to be a pop-out window to the rear. And if I told the full truth, it means it's supposed to be a vertical window, but I bought it not knowing that. So I'm going to be laying it on its side, but I see no drawback at this time of doing that. So... Once I get this window in, then I can start moving along a little bit more on the inside. Okay, here we are, November 1st, 2020. I bought this ambulance, wambulance as I call it, June of 2010. And I've driven it some, I love driving it. I took the lights off, which I think I'm gonna put all back on. 
but it sat in out in this field for the last five years no love whatsoever so i thought well i wanted to get a van and do a little bit of weekend traveling and whatnot so i thought well why not start with the old ambulance so of course i pull it out and i got a bad bad power steering leak and it's buried down in here somewhere not easy at all to get to i'm starting to strip some of the stuff off the front of this i'm gonna take the air pumps off get some of my horsepower it's got a ford six 460 gasoline engine and uh I'd like to get it ready and take it maybe to Arizona this winter. She's not a bad looking machine. It's got all these cool compartments as anybody that's done anything around an ambulance knows. They're just built for stout. So anyway, this is the beginning of my project. And uh, I look forward to moving along with it. Well, it's November 7th and I'm after 10 years of owning this thing, I'm starting to kind of tear it apart. Just getting it going. Took the lights off the left side. And I'm gonna pull those cabinets out. They're just not fitting into the plans. So we're gonna start out with a little bit of open on that side, then we'll figure out what to do with the passenger side. But it's one step at a time, I reckon. Nothing we can't handle. Well, here we are sitting in Kenner's shop with the ambulance. And tomorrow's going to be tear out a power steering pump and replace it. I've moved a few things, so there you can see it. So it ain't that scary. 